In 1867, Kansas State University held its first commencement. Three women and two men graduated that year. As the first land-grant university in the nation, this fledgling university had a vision of providing innovative education to all people. That early vision has continued through to the present. With over 250 majors and a diverse student body, including students from all 50 states and more than 100 countries. Becoming one of the nation's top 50 public research universities by 2025 is today's vision for tomorrow. With academic programs among the best in the nation and professors who are leaders in their fields, Kansas State University is an international leader in teaching, learning, service, and research. Today's graduates join over 200,000 alumni who are proud to call K-State their alma mater. Congratulations, and thank you to all those who have supported them through their undergraduate experience at Kansas State University.
Please be seated. Good afternoon. It is my pleasure to welcome you today to the commencement ceremonies for the Kansas State University College of Engineering. My name is Craig Wanklin, and I serve as an assistant dean in the College of Engineering. Commencement is an exciting time for the faculty and staff of Kansas State University. We all experience a sense of great satisfaction that these outstanding graduates are moving on to fulfill their professional goals, on to exciting careers in the service of society in this state, this country, and the world. We are all enormously proud of them and have high expectations for their futures. Before we start our program today, I would like to make a few introductions. Please recognize our musicians, the Kansas State University Student Brass Quintet. Let me also recognize the members of the platform party, and please hold your applause until the end. On my far right, your left, Dr. Mustak Hossein, Interim Head of Civil Engineering. Dr. Keith Hone, Professor of Chemical Engineering. Dr. Joe Harner, Head of Biological and Agricultural Engineering. Professor Ray Buell, Head of Architectural Engineering and Construction Science and Management. Dr. Betty Grauer, Assistant Dean of the College of Engineering. Mark Ronning, Senior in Electrical Engineering and our student singer for today. Jim Johnson, CEO, GE Johnson Construction Company, and our commencement speaker for today. Dr. Darren Dawson, Dean of the College of Engineering. On my far left, your right, Dr. Bill Dunn, Head of Mechanical and Nuclear Engineering. 
Dr. Brad Kramer, Head of Industrial and Manufacturing Systems Engineering. Dr. Scott Deloach, Head of Computer Science. Dr. Don Gruenbacher, Head of Electrical and Computer Engineering. Amy Button Renz, President and CEO of the K-State Alumni Association. Sam McConnell, Senior in Architectural Engineering and our student speaker for today. Dr. April Mason, Provost and Senior Vice President of Kansas State University. Dr. Gary Clark, Senior Associate Dean of the College of Engineering. Our Marshals are Dr. Ronaldo McGarring, Associate Dean, and Andy Fund, Assistant Dean. Would all faculty members of the College of Engineering in attendance at this ceremony please stand? Please recognize these individuals. I would like to call Mark Ronning, Senior in Electrical Engineering, to sing our national anthem. Please stand. Please be seated. The College of Engineering has enjoyed truly outstanding students over the years, and this class is no exception. All students who have survived the rigors of studies in our engineering, construction science, computer science, and information systems programs deserve recognition because they are very talented. This afternoon, I have the privilege of identifying a number of exceptional students for special recognition. We first recognize our summa cum laude graduates who have earned a 3.95 or higher cumulative GPA on a scale of 4.0. This semester, we have seven. Would the following students stand and remain standing? Mitchell Fowler, Jacob Moltrup, Eric Smarr, Erica Smith, Zachary Bolker, Zachary Williams, Wyong Shu. Let's congratulate our summa cum laude graduates. Please be seated. <clears throat> Magna cum laude graduates are those graduates who have earned a 3.85 to a 3.949 cumulative GPA. This semester we have six. Would the following students stand and remain standing? Ashley Coleman, Austin Kernut, Courtney Fawcett, Andrew Forster, Andrew Harlow, Daniel Longfellow. Let's congratulate our magna cum laude graduates. Please be seated. Cum laude graduates have earned from a 3.75 to a 3.849 cumulative GPA. This semester we have 13. Would the following students stand and remain standing? Montgomery Baker Fells, Jace Beavers, 
Haley Broon, Damian Sear, Hunter Delaray, Andrew Llewellyn, Samuel McConnell, Jason Riley, Mark Ronning, Garrett Stewart, Lucas Versheldon, Elena Watson, and Christopher White. Let's congratulate our cum laude graduates. Please be seated. I must recognize one more important group before we move on to the rest of the program. Graduates, you see around you many people who have helped you, supported you, and encouraged you over the time that you have pursued your education. These supporters include your parents, spouses, and children, your entire families, and your friends. Graduates, join me in giving your loved ones a big and well-deserved round of applause. Thank you. At this time, Sam McConnell, senior in architectural engineering, will present the challenge to the graduating class. Thank you, Dean Dawson. Good afternoon, family, friends, faculty, and staff, alumni, and fellow members of the Kansas State University College of Engineering class of 2017. It's a great honor to speak before all of you today on a day that will be one of the most memorable of our lives, a bittersweet day, and for more reasons than the fact that it ends the era of free food. Here, many of us will begin the end of our time in the community that we have grown to call our own. We have shared in so much together, and for that, I thank each and every one of you. We make our way into a world where we'll be challenged daily, but these challenges will prove small relative to the talents that we have developed during our time at this great university. Following our cardiac cats come from behind Farmageddon Wind two weekends ago in Bill Snyder Family Stadium, I pulled out my phone to arrange for an Uber ride. And it struck me how similar calling that Uber was to the situation that we find ourselves in now. For those that don't know how to call an Uber ride, it's called using the app that you set your pickup destination and then where you'd like to be dropped off. Based on these two locations, a fare is generated and you, if you select to accept this fare, your Uber driver will move to your location and you'll begin your journey. Knowing where you are is the first step to starting your journey. We can look back now on our time at Kansas State to understand how we got to where we are today. We came onto campus not fully understanding what we had gotten ourselves into. I wasn't even sure what my major was, let alone what I could do with a degree in it. And, but it wasn't long before we learned that we were in the same situation as thousands of other people that we shared this beautiful campus with. We joined way too many student organizations, collected enough purple t-shirts to clothe some small countries, and did our best to make the university lose money on the meal plans that we had selected. We discovered the horrors of 4.30 Friday afternoon engineering physics exams, and the joys of spending Saturdays in the bill and in the ville. With time, we figured it out. We settled in, and we really flourished. We came to understand what the K-State family was all about that it was through building up others around us that we truly would grow. It was amazing to see such a diverse group of people representing so many nationalities, creeds, religions, and backgrounds come together as one big, happy, purple family. However, no family is without its struggles, and it's these struggles that taught us the most about each other. Often, these times of trials are caused by those that would seek to highlight our differences as weaknesses, but it was these differences that helped me to better understand the value of humility and the strength that it affords. Today, we are a summation of our experiences, including the experiences that we have shared in together. This is where we're getting picked up. Now, the question of our destination. Where should we drop that pin on the map? I know that my destination will be one that allows me to continue on the path of growth that I've started here at K-State. As we leave Manhattan to start careers and fields that will put us on the frontier of new technologies, where we will have opportunities to influence millions of people, I hope that you'll do so with the lessons that we have learned here on your heart and in your mind. Through our engineering education, we have been equipped with skills that will allow us to improve the lives of all around us, but is what we have gained from our peers and the expectation of excellence that has been imparted on us as part of our experience here at K-State that will drive us to make the most of these skills. 
Each of us has been awarded talents in accordance with our own abilities, and we must make the most of these talents lest they go to waste. As I make my journey away from my time at K-State, I hope to keep humility, honesty, and kindness at the forefront of my actions. Humility to consider the possibility that we don't have the answers, that we might be wrong. I promise it's gonna happen. Not to say that we should question ourselves, but rather be open to the opinions of others and grow stronger from the benefits of multiple perspectives. Honesty with myself, that I never turn a blind eye towards the truth, regardless of how difficult it might be to accept. Again, there will be difficult truths. May we always be true to ourselves and others, ensuring that our actions are genuine and full of goodwill. And kindness, that I may lift up all those around me as I have learned to do so during my time at this wonderful institution. May we always seek out those in need and assist them in ways that only those that have been afforded the talents and opportunities that we have can. What's the price of this journey? What's the cost of these aspirations that we may hold for ourselves? Fortunately, we have never been alone in getting to where we are today. Family have trialed, traveled miles and miles to witness us not trip as we walk across this stage today. The same family that have given so much of their own to provide us with the best opportunities that they could. Our faculty and staff have spent hours with us in labs or classrooms and advising activities or even just listening to how much stress we've accumulated over the course of the semester. Friends of the university and the College of Engineering have donated millions of dollars to provide scholarships and build buildings and provide other opportunities on campus that may not have existed otherwise. The infinitely brave men and women that have fought to defend this country for centuries have preserved the freedoms that allow us to receive this education. All of these people, some that we know well and many that we'll never meet, have made sacrifices to help pay a portion of the fare associated with our journey. But there is still much work to do if we want to reach our destination. We must continue what we've started here. In the same manner that we have spent countless hours in lectures and studying and working on senior projects to arrive here, we must continue to practice discipline and make sacrifices to achieve our ultimate destination. There will be times that try our commitment, our patience, and our integrity. And it's during these times that I hope you look back on your experience at K-State, and that will give you strength to push through these difficult times. But remember, we are never alone. In the same manner that we might watch an Uber move down the road towards our destination, all those that have invested in us will watch as we move day in and day out. They will watch us through the hills and the valleys and will hold us accountable to the destination that we have set for ourselves. These will be the people that celebrate us in our joys and encourage us in our struggles. The greatest piece of advice that I ever received during my college career was to never miss an opportunity. Pretty cliche, I know. I didn't realize it's gravity at first, but if you think about it, how many opportunities do you miss out on daily because you might be afraid to take a chance or it might be a new experience? I was missing a lot before I received this advice. I still miss some opportunities, but my life has drastically changed since I took heed of it. So today, I challenge you, class of 2017, never miss an opportunity. Never miss an opportunity to love your family well. If we've learned anything since we've been here, it's that family is first. Never miss an opportunity to do the impossible. We didn't come to this university and work all these years to crawl through the rest of our lives. We came this far to go out and attack our lives every single day and break free of the limits that would be imposed on us. Never take an opportunity to take a step back and be grateful for what we, may have, what, for what we have been given. We will never have enough gratitude for the sacrifices that have been made for us. Today, we have so many people to thank. Never miss an opportunity to be kind, humble, and honest. My last challenge calls for a bit of a history lesson. The color purple that we so proudly wear has long been associated with royalty. This is derivative of the limited supply of purple dye that existed to make clothing that was available during the time, throughout the world during the time of kings and queens. The limited supply dictated that few could don the purple color. In a similar way, relatively few had have, have had the opportunity to call Kansas State University their home. Few have had the opportunities to learn what the K-State family is about and the values that it holds. So I challenge you to take what we have learned in our time here, values that we have gained and the lessons that we have been taught, and don't harbor them like a precious cloth or gem, but rather share them willingly. Let your purple shine that you may show all around you what the K-State family is and what it means, and it may cultivate in them the same spirit. Congratulations, Kansas State University, College of Engineering class of 2017. I thank you all for the time that we have shared and pray that you all succeed in your endeavors. Our ride is here. Let's go.
Thank you, Sam. Great job. We are here this afternoon to bestow degrees on the candidates. We are also here to give you one last message and send you out into the world. And the best way to give you that one last message before sending you out into the world is to hear from someone who's been right there in your shoes. Someone that has already been out in the world in a big way. And that's our commencement speaker, Jim Johnson. Jim has serious street credibility. He obtained a Bachelor's of Science in Construction Science in 1984 from K-State. Shortly thereafter, Jim played an active role in every division of GE Johnson Construction Company. Specifically, Jim gained experience in estimating, project supervision, project management, division management, and business development at every level of the company. He served in the role of vice president before becoming president and CEO of the company in 1997. In his continuing role as CEO, Jim is responsible for leading the strategic vision, culture, and board of directors of GE Johnson Construction Company. Jim has served on several nonprofit organizational boards and is an avid community supporter. He has served on the KSU Foundation Board of Trustees, the College of Engineering Advisory Council, and the Alumni Association Board of Trustees. But, in spite of all his accomplishments and service to the university, Jim would tell you that he never imagined himself up there speaking today because that's just the way he is. And, in spite of all his personal and professional obligations, Jim has remained a lifelong wildcat. This fact is exemplified by Jim's induction into the College of Engineering Hall of Fame. Engineers and scientists, join me in welcoming one of our own, Jim Johnson. I think I just found out who's going to do my eulogy. Um, thank you very much, Dean Dawson. Um, I was told I could do this because I'm a lot more comfortable um, actually in this type of hat. To my, um, I'm honored to speak today, and to my fellow podium guests, I've been known to, to go a little bit off script, so you can either read the prompter or try to stay, uh, stay with me. We'll see how it goes. I'm absolutely thrilled to be here with today with the faculty and the staff to congratulate and celebrate the class of 2017. Welcome to all the family and friends and loved ones are here to witness this milestone event. These students undoubtedly cherish your support and encouragement. We can all agree that today is a special day and one that is pivotal in most people's lives who have the dedication, perseverance, and aptitude to become qualified to come across the commencement stage and receive a diploma. My father and I both went and attended Kansas State University are both proud College of Engineering graduates. For that reason, and many more, Kansas State has always felt like home. I frequently visit, and every time I come to appreciate the impact that it has had as me as a student, albeit 33 years ago, I sat in those very seats. Kansas State is made up of special people, the professors, the advisors, the department heads, the alumni, as well as the students. They create a fabric that can be wrapped around you like a warm, cozy blanket. Now that you're graduating, it's time to shed the comfortable warmth of that blanket and go into the world and make your mark. You'll start applying the concepts. You'll start to stretch and grow. You'll have struggles. You'll have successes, both personal and professional and that will continue to define you. I, I want to ask you, as you start this next chapter, how will you leave your mark? How will you make your mark in this world? The answer is going to be different for all of us, and it can be very simple. You can start making your mark by performing any task or job that you may do, no matter how large or how small. Do it with excellence. Coworkers and clients will appreciate the dependability and the quality that provide, you provide by the consistency of delivering a job well done. My family's legacy was built by leaving a mark in our various communities in, in which we work. And we leave buildings that enhance the destination. If you have been to the Alumni Center, the Veneer Family Football Complex, or the West Stadium, you have seen some of the marks that our family has left on this community. 
It is great benefit in our field that we can point to a physical building or structure that highlights our work. I believe making your mark, though, will be different and you need to continue to define it for yourself. I also believe in making your mark through philanthropy. Finding a cause or an organization you believe in and jump on it. You'll have the energy and maybe more than any time in your life to make a difference. Try to lead positive change with the resources to an organization that needs your help. Give your time, your expertise, your leadership, your support, whatever fits you best. Not only will you help others, but you will learn more about, the, about yourself than you ever imagined. Your late nights of studying and cramming for exams may be over, but now you will continue your education for the rest of your day. You will make mistakes every single day, and you can embrace those mistakes as an out-of-classroom teacher. Change will happen no matter how much you try to not make it happen. Learn to expect it, learn to embrace it, learn to respond to it, learn to learn, to learn from it. Keep making your mark. You may already have perseverance. For myself, the greatest value that I learned during my time at Kansas State University was I wasn't afraid to fail. This is witnessed by my transcript. I, I, was, not, I was sitting in your seat 33 years ago with a 2.3 GPA. I had one job interview in a time when construction was down. I took that opportunity to position myself and convince them what I could do for that company. I was successful and quickly thereafter my GPA became irrelevant and it was really about what I could do as an individual. I encourage you to find that inner strength and what it is that you've learned here. What I learned at Kansas State was perseverance. I had to keep going into that physics class year after year after year um, to get through the class. I knew I had failed, but I wasn't going to give up. That type of perseverance has served me well in our business world because it is an ever-changing ever environment. You'll need perseverance to get through it. Embrace it, cherish it, enhance it, and continue to grow. I challenge you to leave your mark by making your mark. I was told by a very good friend of mine very early on in my career who's uh, endured many political appointments and uh, many nonprofit organizations. He came up to me once and he said, I have never had anybody come up to me after I've been speaking and say, gosh, I wish you would have talked more. Therefore, my comments today are brief, they're short. However, what you have gotten by this degree proves that you have the perseverance and the tools necessary to chart your own course. My challenge to you is to always chart your, new, your course, define it, but never forget where home is and where your family is. Congratulations to all, and go Cats. Thank you, Jim. Here's a small token of appreciation. At this time, I'd like to introduce Amy Button Renz, President and CEO of the K State Alumni Association. Amy? Thank you, Dean Dawson. Good afternoon. I'm pleased to be part of your special day and offer congratulations on behalf of the K State Alumni Association, representing over 250,000 graduates and friends who will be your lifelong K State family. Today, as you receive your degree, we are excited to celebrate with you and your family. We are also here to welcome you into a new relationship with your alma mater as you begin this new chapter as a K-State graduate. Our mission at the Alumni Association is to lead and inspire lifelong involvement that will benefit Kansas State University and all members of our Wildcat community. I would like to share three of the core values that guide us in our mission to help you stay connected with Kansas State University. The first value is link. 
The Alumni Association provides the lifelong link that alumni depend on to remain connected. You can stay in touch through hundreds of alumni activities held on campus, around the country, and even internationally. Another value is tradition. You will likely celebrate a few traditions this weekend as you sing the alma mater or take KSU photos at your favorite spot on campus. You may also have fond memories of doing the Wabash at a K-State sporting event or rubbing the nose of the bronze Wildcat statue at the Alumni Center for good luck on a test or to ensure a Wildcat victory. As the keepers of tradition, we also hope that you will have a chance to visit the Alumni Center to experience all of the wonderful traditions kept there, including our newest addition, a stained glass mural designed by 2016 graduate Marcus Gilbert, which pays tribute to the beauty of our state and the K-State campus. The third core value is purple. For K-Staters, it's more than a color. It's a symbol of pride, connection, and family. When you see someone wearing purple or a K-State class ring or someone sporting a K-State license plate, you will feel that sense of family. In recognition of your graduation, the College of Engineering and the Alumni Association are providing you with a complimentary one-year membership to the Alumni Association. We hope you will enjoy the membership benefits and continue to be an active member after your first year. K-State alumni are among the most loyal in the nation. In fact, our membership ranks in the top five in the nation and number one in the Big 12 Conference for the percentage of graduates who are members. That loyalty is shared by generations of K-Staters who have the same passion for K-State that you feel today as you receive your degree from one of the finest universities in the nation. The Alumni Association is also pleased to present you today with an exclusive alumni business card holder. As you go through life, and your titles and address just change, please be sure to keep us updated. We want to make sure you are always connected to your K-State family. Congratulations and go Cats. Thank you, Amy. We will now have the presentation of graduates and conferral of degrees. Each department head, as introduced before, will present the degree candidates from their respective departments. The audience should feel free to applaud candidates as they are recognized. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Architectural Engineering and the Bachelor of Science in Construction Science and Management please rise? <clears throat> Will faculty members Shannon Casebeer, Jim Goddard, Katie Lockmiller, Jung Shul Song, and Bill Zhang please rise to greet the graduates? Dean Dawson, it is with the distinct honor and pleasure that I present these candidates for conferral of their degrees. With degrees in architectural engineering, Mark Allen Biesma, Austin C. Kernett, magna cum laude. Eddie A. Gomez. <laughs> Colin Glenn Hitz. Tyler Jacobs. Antonio Lamar McBee. Samuel James McConnell, cum laude. Daniel Allen Minks. Michelle Diane Reagan. Austin John Schaefer. Matthew Robert Sipes. Christopher Mark White, cum laude. Let's congratulate our architectural engineering graduates.
with degrees in construction science and management. Joshua Michael Abel. Kyle Jacob Affelt. Craig Dillon Archambo. Corey Michael Armendariz. Karsten Francis Berigri. Jordan Richard Bieberly. Colin James Bond. Hayden James Borth. Thomas Kenner Bowers. Lorian Lynn Breckenridge. Jonathan Cachelet. Anthony Nicholas Chapman. Trenton Alexander Cox. Shannon Tyler Dial. Quentin Shelby Michael Gould. Nathan Burke Hass. Matthew Taylor Hastert. Robert Philip Holland. Deshaun Lamont Isaiah. Garrett James Crable. Mike Mitchell Link Lockbeeler. Mike Alvin Lorridge. Matthew Stephen McCarthy. Connor Michael McGill. Jack Harlan Mitchell. Taylor John Nesson. John Allen Rector. Whitney Vaughn Reed. Kyle Andrew Romick. Tyler Daniel Stifter. Daniel Jared Straub. Ben Treadway. Laura Ann Trickett. Cameron Luke Upoff. Jackson Charles Wicker. Let's congratulate our construction science and management graduates. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Biological Systems Engineering please rise? Will faculty members Dan Flippo, Tricia Moore, A.J. Sharda, and Lisa Wilkin please rise to greet the graduates? Dean Dawson, it is with distinct honor and pleasure that I present these candidates for conferral of their degrees. with degrees in Biological Systems Engineering. Devin Ali Bandad. Caitlin Renee Barnes. Kaylee Renee Brungart. Allison Rose Siafi. Cody Michael Loken. Brendan Joseph Whitney. Let's congratulate our graduates from Biological Systems Engineering. Will the candidates for the Bachelors of Science in Chemical Engineering please rise? Will faculty member Arvin Stress please rise to greet the graduates? Dean Dawson is with distinct honor and pleasure that I present these candidates for the conferral of their degrees.
degrees in chemical engineering, Diana Mee Abbott, Montgomery Carl Baker Fales, cum laude, David Adrian Korchenko, Sultan Abdurrahman Sayyid Ahmed. Let's congratulate our chemical engineering graduates. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering please rise? Will faculty members Sunanda Disanayake, Eric Fitzsimon, uh, Landon Marston, and uh, Haider Rashid please rise to greet the graduates? Dean Dawson, it is with distinct honor and pleasure that I present these candidates for the conferral of their degrees. With degrees in civil engineering, Luke Strand Augustine, <laughs> Teresa Margaret Collins, <laughs> Ian Michael Degendorf, John MacArthur DeVault, Andrew Stephen Forster Magna Cum Laude, Ija Guh. Brian James Parkrader, Justin Edward Harris, Zachariah Lee Hughes, Casey John Keller, Sean Lua, Blake Nicholas Morris, Rory McPhail Reichel. Brock Allen Swartz, Dylan Gregory Swoyer, Elena Trang Watson, cum laude, Seaver Lee Williams, Joel Stephen Woodward. Let's congratulate our civil engineering graduates. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering and the Bachelor of Science in Computer Engineering please rise? Will faculty members John DeVore, Stephen Dyer, Bill Kuhn, Beres Marisol, and William Hageman please rise to greet the graduates? Dean Dawson, it is with distinct honor and pleasure that I present these candidates for the conferral of their degrees. With degrees in computer engineering, Kyle Connard Brown, Brandon Robert Dunn, Wesley C. Thomas, Philip Ross Urban, Dan W. Wagner. Let's congratulate our computer engineering graduates. With degrees in electrical engineering, Hunter James Delery, cum laude, Benjamin Dennis Ellsburn, Jonah Ferguson, Chad Weston Gobber, Tyler James Hennen, Cooper Douglas Hofling. Nicholas Raymond Manoni, Denton, Kansas McAdam, Haley Bryce McAllier, Tyler Justin O'Brien, Noor Abdurashid Omar, Joe's Paul. 
Jason, Keegan, Riley, Cum Laude. Mark, Hoffmeister, Ronning, Cum Laude. Samuel, William, Roselle. Diploma presented by Samuel's father, Dr. Tim Roselle, Professor in Animal Sciences and Industry. Dylan, Roy, Schauberg. Hall, Winston, Cabrera, Susan. Chao Wang. Zahui Zhang. Let's congratulate our electrical engineering graduates. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Computer Science and the Bachelor of Science in Information Systems please rise? Will faculty members Bill Shu, Mitch Nilsson, and Josh Weiss please rise to greet the graduates? Dean Dawson, it is with distinct honor and pleasure that I present these candidates for the conferral of their degrees. with degrees in computer science. Cody Lee Baldwin. Christopher Charles Boschert. Yujun Chin. Ashley Aaron Coleman, magna cum laude. Joseph Townsend Davis. Caleb Robert Fleming. Jonathan David Howard. Jiju Lu. Daniel Christian Longfellow, magna cum laude. Jacob Daniel Martin. Diamond Connor McNeil. Troy William Nagel. Arunathan Paramathan, Paranathan. Eric Thomas Schmar, summa cum laude. Tyler Jordan Tryon. Colin Andrew Vossman. George Willis Walker. On way. Let's congratulate our computer science graduates. With degrees in information systems, Joshua Eric Durbin, Ethan D. Haley, Jacob Thomas Moldra, summa cum laude. Sean William Pittman. Devlin Rain Smiley. John David Wildman. Let's congratulate our information systems graduates. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Industrial Engineering please rise? Will faculty members David Benaria, Xu Ting Lei, Ashesh Sinha, and Peter Zhang rise to meet the graduates? Dean Dawson, it is with distinct honor and pleasure that I present these candidates for the conferral of their degrees. With degrees in industrial engineering, Hamad Nader Ajeran, Adib Ali Akatani, Ian Bain Alter, 
Mohammed Bashir Baba. Jackson Philip Beaver. Christopher John Walter Dews Bergwager. Brenna Elaine Dirks. Corey Nicholas Egger. Courtney Michelle Fawcett, magna cum laude. Matthew John Kaiser. Stanton Kyle Crone. Stephen B. Lou. Miranda Marie Mace. Lucas George for Sheldon, cum laude. Gage Allen Zumbrun. Let's congratulate our industrial engineering graduates. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering please rise? Will faculty members Bruce Babin, Terry Beck, and Kevin Wanklin please rise? It is with distinct honor and pleasure that I present these candidates for the conferral of their degrees. with degrees in mechanical engineering. Joshua Ryan Affholder. Mohammed Ahmed Abdul Abdulali. Tyler Bryce Albright. Rakan Ahmed Ashi. Jace Allen Beavers, cum laude. Rachel Nicole Bohm. Blake Andrew Bombardier. Hannah Elizabeth Bongers. Eric Austin Brown. Trevor Michael Brown. Haley Ann Brunn, cum laude. Colin Matthew Douglas Buller. Joshua Alexander Tamarina. Trevor D. Carpenter. David Austin Chandler. Wayne Thomas Chisholm. Abdullah Chowdhury. William Christopher Clark. Olivia Page Cox. Joseph Michael Cribben. Damian Anton Sear, cum laude. Colton Chandler Decker. Matthew Charles DeLiesel. Killian Andrew Doze. Alex Christian Jevotowski. Matthew Lawrence Esquibel. Adam Lee Ewing. Zachary Forrest Ewing. Kyler Michael Farmer. Heather Renee Ferry. Mitchell Scott Fowler, summa cum laude. Peter James Gardner. Brendan Charles Gundy. Andrew Weston Harlow, magna cum laude. 
Allie Jane Hedrick. Benjamin Dayton Howard. Ali Hani Jamal. Michael Lynn Kelly. Chandler W. Clam. Brian L. Koenig. Julie May Cole. Elisha Kojol. Clark William Kropa. Nicholas Tyler Kukta. Andrew Michael Llewellyn Kumlad. Seth Allen Martin. Jeffrey Brian Morrow. Nathan Cole Pogler. Gabe Allen Probst. Mary Catherine Ross. Christian Nathaniel Dasher Sasher. Ronald Andres Sascote Prieto, cum laude. Devin Martin Schottler. Austin Marsh Schuberth. Austin James Scott. Luke Allen Stahlbomber. Garrett Noel Stewart, cum laude. Valerie Joanna Vega. Zachary Joel Volker, summa cum laude. Austin David Wiley. Paige Williams. Zach Thomas Williams, summa cum laude. Joseph Sean Wolfenberger. Tyler James Woodman. Let's congratulate our mechanical engineering graduates. Graduates, please rise. By the authority of the people of Kansas and the Kansas Board of Regents, and upon recommendation by the faculty, and upon completion of all degree requirements, I am pleased to confer upon you 
the respective degrees that you have earned at Kansas State University. You may move your tassel from the right to the left. Please remain standing while I call Assistant Dean Betty Grau to the podium. Graduates, please turn to page 49 of your commencement program and recite the K-State Engineers Pledge with her. Please recite with me, as a graduate of the College of Engineering, I pledge to give the utmost of performance, to participate in none but honest enterprise, to live and work according to the laws of humanity and the highest standards of professional conduct, to place service before profit, the honor and standing of the professional before personal advantage, and the public welfare above all other consideration, in humility and with the need for divine guidance, I make this pledge. And I thank you. I would like to call Mark Ronnie back to the podium to lead us in the K-State alma mater. The words can be found on page three in your program. Please rise. everyone except our graduates please be seated. <laughs> graduates, we know you're anxious to meet your family and friends. However, we have one last request of you. Each of you now have a K-State alumni poster which you can hang proudly in your office whenever you leave here. So if you'll get that out, hold that up. We will take a group photo. Graduates, on behalf of the College of Engineering, congratulations on your well-earned achievements and officially becoming a K-State engineer. We would ask all guests to please remain seated and do not exit until the recessional is complete. Thank you for coming and have a great evening.